Hi, uh, welcome to Johannesburg Summit. Um, we are discussing 5G mobile systems and uh, new requirements, high reliability, uh, short delay. Uh, the first question is, is it really possible to merge all these 5G requirements in one system? What is Docomo's uh, view on this? Yeah, I don't think we need to satisfy all requirements simultaneously. And it is very important to define the use cases and uh, maybe we need to consider the several use cases. So each use case is what kind of requirement should be met. So me maybe we need to clarify about that first. So I don't say uh, we need to meet the all requirements simultaneously. Part of the requirement need to be satisfied in, in the use cases. That's our views. Okay, and in your um, keynote speech, it was very interesting. You talked about uh, Massive MIMO and the realization of Massive MIMO. Uh, you also have a demonstrator, I guess. Um, can you elaborate a bit more on this? I, is it really realistic, practical? Uh, what is the future for Massive MIMO systems? Yeah, I think that should be uh, realistic in the 5G era. And, uh, but in order to show the feasibility of the Massive MIMO, we just started uh, experimental uh, trial uh, equipment development mm -hmm. now. So uh, I, I'm sure that we can show the feasibility of the massive MIMO in the future using the, our trial systems. In what conditions specifically uh, will it be the um, technology? Yeah, uh, we can consider the m many kinds of the technologies very detailed uh, technologies for the massive MIMO. We are now discussing with partner companies what kind of the functionalities, algorithms, uh, technologies should be considered in our trials. We are now developing the, such kind of specification. So not fixed yet, but uh, uh, in within the several months we can fix the, such kind of specifications and then we will develop the trial system. And then we can show the feasibility of the massive MIMO. Again, I'm sure that the massive MIMO is will be feasible by the 5G era. Okay, thanks very much.